War Pugs. So today we're going to ask ourselves a really interesting question. And I try to stay away from politics, but I was told this was not, this was probably not what I was thinking it was. So what we're going to do, like Inquisitor Zerus said, he thought this was hilarious. He thinks that I'll find it funny. So with that being said, this is alternate history hub. And the question is, what if Trump was never elected president? Uh, I have been told by several people this is not political. Okay, let's go. I try to stay out of politics, guys. I try my damnedest. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's just go. Here we go. What if Trump was never elected president by Alternate History Hub? Let's go. In November 2016, the United States of America changed its fate forever. Instead of electing a dignified politician, it chose this buffoon. But what if there was an alternate timeline where the U.S. chose the right candidate? What if we chose the right man for the job? Wait, I'm sorry, you thought I was talking about her? No, <laughs> of course not. No, the fate of America was chosen months before this travesty occurred. By then, the destiny of the U.S. was already sealed. All they right. had denied the hand of God himself. Of course, I'm talking about Jeb Bush. What if Jeb Bush was elected president of the United States? What? Usually in these scenarios, the alternate timeline takes a more somber tone, reflecting on what we lost because a bad event happened. And I'm not stopping here. Time to crank this stuff up to 11 and make you stay up at night thinking about what was lost. Sorry, Grandma dying of the virus. Should have voted for Jeb in March 2016, you old bat. What? Please clap and buy guac bowls. In an Please clap. In January 2017, Jeb Bush is sworn into office. Usually the day is cold enough to harden the most stubborn nipples. Yet instead, the day is warm. The sun glistens as Jeb speaks. The people, once uncertain, decide to clap and feel their souls light up. <laughs> they wonder how they never clapped before. True. As he gives a speech comparable to that of Kennedy, Lincoln, and even Jesus Christ himself. Damn. At the end of his speech, Jeb takes out a flaming sword. It astounds the audience worldwide. What? At the sight of such a beacon, they realize this is not simply a mere public servant. The next four years are a time of not only prosperity for the US, but one of expansion. Canada, under the reign of Justin, blackface was fined 20 years ago, Trudeau, hasn't seen the best of days. So they cast off their maple leaf shackles and join the USA. The cartels disavow their trafficking, no longer needing to sell drugs, as the only high we all need is Jeb. <laughs> there is what in the hell is this? No longer a left or right okay. in politics. There is only Jeb, a black hole of true centrism who brings in all sides. Okay. Eventually, Britain does leave the EU, deciding to join what is now the Jeb Empire. The entire EU follows suit. By 2022, Jeb has now united all of humanity. Damn, where son! where is there to go? Simple. Mars. <laughs> Mars for the last few centuries has been controlled what? by a cult dedicated to machinery called the Adeptus Mechanicus. What the fuck? Jeb realizes that Mars could easily defeat What the fuck is this? What is a united Earth, even with all its firepower, <laughs> and decides instead to join forces. Now, with the Mechanicus technology at his back, Jeb can lead a holy Are crusade you kidding across me? the galaxy, reconnecting with lost human colonies <laughs> and bringing the truth to them. Jeb is soon deemed the Emperor of Mankind yes! and reveals the humanity Please clap! that has always existed throughout history. A great crusade begins as humankind is able to once again travel through the warp. Jeb has brought together many worlds either through conquest or by acknowledgement of his wisdom. Oh. The galaxy is a dangerous place, and the only light is the Emperor. Various Xenos threaten yes. humankind, yes. orcs, Eldar, and even the mysterious forces of chaos, fueled purely by the bitter rage of Hillary Clinton. Eventually, <laughs> the dark gods of chaos corrupt a major ally of Jeb. Ben Shapiro is corrupting into believing that the ways of Jeb are not true, turning on Jeb and descending mankind into an era of civil war. By the last battle of this heresy, Jeb and Ben have a final clash. Oh Jeb my is god. Victorious. 
Ben is struck down, and his Chaos Legions chase back into the warp. At least for now. Despite his victory, Jeb's injuries are too much. Jeb is now just a hollow man, his body becoming a corpse. Brought into what will soon be called the Golden Throne, Jeb sustains his life by the daily sacrifice of 10,000 clapping attendees. But that's just a theory. <laughs> the game theory. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my next video, in which I exploit a global crisis to predict which video game character will survive the coronavirus. In November 20- Everyone, please clap. <laughs> oh my god, I did not see that. As soon as I saw that picture, I would- What? <laughs> when was this made? When was this made? Okay, three years ago. Okay. Well, I'm thoroughly entertained. I have learned quite a few things. I did not know that uh, I did not know that Jeb Bush was Neoth from uh, all the Syria. I did not know Jeb was the Emperor of Mankind. And I did not know that Ben Shapiro would one day betray him. The teachings of Jeb. Guys, we all should have bought the guac bowls. We all should have clapped. Imagine where we'd be right now if we had just clapped. Just a short round of applause for Jeb. That was some of the... The 2016 election was such... Oh my god, I'm not getting into it. I'm not getting into it. <sighs> Stay away. Stay away. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna head out. Alternate History Hub, uh, kudos. Um, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I didn't see that coming at all. I was sitting there the entire time I was getting ready to play this. I was like, am I actually gonna go through, am I actually gonna play this? Am I actually gonna go through with this? Because I've heard from, I've heard from a bunch of people that this is not, like it wasn't political and nothing these days where you have the five letters that nothing happens like nothing these days with his name in it is not political anymore it's and it's usually ridiculous uh, i'm not getting into it god i don't want to get into politics i want to stay out of that i don't want to touch it with a barge pole and for good reason but this was still funny. I'm out. Alternately, alternate history hubs links are gonna be in the description down below. I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go spend about an hour of the mind cleanser. War pugs. Um, join the Discord. Check out the Patreon. Uh, and please clap. <laughs>